Hi guys, this week I am in Mombasa with my cousin. Join us on this journey. It was a really intense journey to get here, but it's been an amazing trip so far. So tune in, watch, stay along for what it is that we're about to share with you. And there will be a story time posted after this video of the experience that we actually had um, getting here and everything that happened and how God has actually made a way for us throughout this trip. So stay tuned. This is right at the start of the journey and we were already in traffic, can you imagine? But it was such a smooth ride from this point and then the morning of waking up, it was like, you know when you're disgruntled and you're like, where am I, what am I doing? There's a conductor sitting in front of us, there's a driver. It was quite an interesting journey in the sense of, yeah, everyone was sitting everywhere. Um, but it was a smooth journey, in, all in all, it was actually a smooth journey. Look at us disgruntled with our tiredness bless him he looks tired <laughs> this is us entering nairobi and at this point we were actually like now nah, we're tired and we're trying to run to catch a train so our train was meant to be at 3 p.m and at this point it's like 1 30 and we're just entering nairobi so risk taker that we are <laughs> we decided to hop on a border border to make sure that we got there in time this is the Nairobi terminus where we were meant to get the train only to get there and be disappointed. We've hit a huge bump in our journey. <laughs> so our coach, which was um, due to arrive here at about midday, ended up arriving at nearly two. We then rushed to get here in the most unsafe way. We got a border border here. And um, we ended up arriving with 15 minutes to go they're like you have seven minutes to get on this train and uh yeah we didn't make it on the train because we didn't actually have tickets for the train you have to pre-book your tickets now we don't have m-pesa and you can't use a, a normal debit credit mastercard any of that you can't use them so in going like people here have been so helpful like strangers that we don't know have been so helpful but there's no tickets for today Hey, what's a while? So while we were still faffing, we made a friend. Erastus became a friend. He was really keen to help us. He said, let me drop you guys to the bus terminal. Make sure you get your tickets booked. And at this point, we're just laughing because we're actually smelly. We need a shower. And he says, no, don't worry. Like, we'll help you get a place where you can freshen up. Make sure you get some dinner in you. And it was really strangers turned to friend and a divine connection. Won't Jesus do it? This has been a journey and a half. When I say a journey and a half, it's a whole journey okay so we ended up missing the train that's where i stopped um we then met this guy and these two ladies who were extremely nice and helpful they were like i'm so sorry we've missed your train let's see how we can help you um and then they they just started looking at other options they were like you can fly there you can get a coach there you can get a train in a few days and we were like we don't have a few days but all the trains are booked so if you're ever coming to um mombasa and you're trying to go by train you've got to book it in advance and you've got to use m-pesa so if you don't have m-pesa sucks to be you <laughs> really sucks to be you but it was quite the journey so this gentleman erastus if he ever sees this video if you ever see this video you are a godsend without you i don't know i actually don't know for us but um erastus and his friends who were coming back to the city drove us for free that was the first blessing in disguise and then when they finished driving us for free they now um drop us in town and he has walked with us to get to the bus place where he booked seats for us onto this coach so that we can travel overnight to get to our next destination which is Mombasa. it's a lot of words i'm really thirsty i have so much like um what do they call it i have so much um what's the word <laughs> pollution pollution in my throat like my throat is so dry right now and he's just like okay i'm gonna wait for you guys he is such an angel like we prayed for this trip we prayed that it would be a good trip we prayed that it would be a blessed trip and even though things haven't gone our way they have gone god's way and we've just been patient we've been praising we've been singing we've been laughing like we normally do like we're not stressed we're not stressing 
And so I'm in this teeny tiny room that I'm going to have a shower and have a change of clothes, brush my teeth so I'm not less smelly, you know. And then we're going to head back out and go get something to eat. Lord God, Lord God, Lord God. <laughs> Mombasa, here we come. We're coming for you by force. How dare the devil try and stop us? We're coming by force. By force. Tried it. That was by far the best shower I've ever had in my life. The best shower ever had in my life. Like, I was dirty and now I'm clean. Life changing. Wow. Wow. We then headed straight to dinner because... That was just the next best thing to do after like 20 something hours of not eating. And then we started our final leg to Mombasa. Now this driver gave a smooth impression of how he was about to, you know, drive us to our next destination. And I had all the hope that it was going to be great. As you can see, I have a clear view out. Um, I could see absolutely everything. Never ever booking this seat again because my blood pressure was a high. I said, hey, wow, his reckless driving is really stressing me out. So <laughs> never again. Here is where I started feeling like, my goodness, my life could really end right now. But we thank God we got there in one piece. And um, the driver turned his music on at about midnight. He said, he said, if I can't sleep, neither will you. So he just turned his music up loud and we had to endure. We endured all the way until the morning when we arrived. So really grace of God that we got there in one piece. Welcome to Mombasa, baby. We finally arrived after what felt like a long and unsafe journey. We made it. And then we took a tuk-tuk to our accommodation, which Erastus helped us book. After what feels like a million hours of traveling, we have arrived. Um, we, our friend Erastus connected us with this guest house. He said it was an Airbnb. It feels more like a guest house only because there's quite a few people here. Um, or maybe an Airbnb that isn't private, but it's a really nice place. I'm gonna show you around and um we're just ready to sleep in a bed not sleep upwards our coach driver was a bit manic so that was interesting and um yeah, we're just tired we're tired we're tired we need a nap and we're really praying for some sun because outside is not giving sunshine it's not giving we're about to go to the beach beach no that's not always it's giving, uh, great british clouds this is our room so it's a compact kind of room it gets everything done like we've got our two separate beds for the both of us um, on this side we've got our wardrobes which just do the trick and on my side we have a bit of a mess <laughs> um, and then we've got our bathroom which is also just doing the trick like it gets everything you need done. I highly recommend this place because the, a lot of love and support from the people who work here. And it just feels like a, a family away from family. Like it's, oh, it really smells like mosquito repellent. But that's what we ask for. Like that's what we need because um, we're not trying to do no mosquitoes. And as you can see, there aren't bed nets. Like that's not something that I've actually seen here. And a lot of the Airbnbs we viewed didn't have that. Um, but they have provided like a means for us to not feel like we're being eaten by mosquitoes. Cause you know, I had malaria last week. I can't have it this week as well. That's not happening. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so yeah but place it's so comfortable the beds are comfortable there's a fan there is air conditioning so really and truly what more could you want if you're in mombasa stay right here please and thank you i've never gotten ready for bed so quickly um but also let's deep for a second we left home on monday at 3 p.m and didn't arrive at our final destination until wednesday at 6 30 a.m do the math that's a lot of hours 
it's time to sleep it's time for it's actually time to sleep it's time for a real sleep snooze time so we are about to go to the beach now i feel very overdressed for a beach vibe but where are my cares i don't care if i brought it i'ma wear it <laughs> i'ma definitely wear it so this is my fit for the day need to do it myself up at the back and um we about to do this we about to do this okay <laughs> strut your stuff sis <laughs> Yes, all the all, all, I'm like Joseph with his coat of many colors, dress of many colors. Come through, sis. So we're walking down to the beach, and every now and then I'm feeling drops from the sky. <laughs> Don't know, but um, I hope it's not rain. God, I'm mercy. You said it's called what? Madafu? Madafu, yeah. Madafu. Okay. You Nigerians? Ugandans. Ugandan. Mm. Taste it. Water. Let's see your face. <laughs> What's your verdict? It's not so tasty, but not bad at the same time. Nah, mm? that's coconut water. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't like. Yeah, so here we are in Mombasa at the beach is called Nyali Beach. Nyali beach. Nyali beach. I'm testing Madafu. coconut juice. Madafu. 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 Madafu juice. Yes. And mogo. Mohogo. Mohogo? Yeah. Mohogo. Fried cassava. Yeah. Crispy. Good. This is our friend called Judy. 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 Yeah. Welcome, Mombasa. <laughs> Madafu is not for the fate hearted, yeah? <laughs> it's basically coconut water. So if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't like it, you don't. Mm. Lunch is served. Oh. <laughs> Nanini lunch. Ready? Ready. Feast. Pull Take nice. it away. Wow. I think that's tilapia. There's no difference. It's like tilapia from Uganda. No difference? Mm. No difference at all. Maybe I'm just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I love these placemats. Absolutely love them. Like it's such a cute vibe. We are at the beach. The sun's setting. This is good for space. The sun is about to set. Check out the toesies. Five kilometers, about five hectares. Those ones. 